MPS4A or Morchio A, and there's Morchio B, are um, a form of MPS that does not uh, lead to cognitive or behavioral issues. Uh, however, they're significant disease burden. In uh, Morchio syndrome, we see a severe multisystemic disease burden manifesting as short stature, uh, cardiac dysfunction, whether it's cardiomyopathy, valvular dysfunction, pulmonary function, restriction on PFTs, um, upper airway issues, sleep apnea, recurrent ear infections. And then they are severely impacted with growth and their dysostosis multiplex can lead to multiple the need for multiple orthopedic surgeries due to um, misalignment of the hips or the knees. These children often need um, uh, assistive devices to, to walk and um, they too have CNS manifestations of the disease although it's not impacting learning again it can lead to compression of the cervical spine which is a uh, critical uh, uh, finding that needs immediate neurosurgical referral uh, but different from MPS6 MPS4A actually has more um, prevalence of atlantoaxial instability and they might need a fusion at their C-spine to prevent um, uh, mobility in the uh, between the, the basically the brain and the spinal cord so they need to fuse the, the spinal column. Uh, we see that mobility also in very lax joints in their wrists so as opposed to MPS6 where they have the flexion contractures and the uh, contractures throughout the arms Morchio um, have these very lax wrists and an ulnar deviation. That's how you can distinguish the two clinically or uh, on exam. Um, but they have the rest of the similar features, varying degrees of hepatosplenomegaly, umbilical hernias, and ear infections. For Morchio A, but not for B, there is an FDA-approved therapy, and that's uh, called Vimazin, uh, or, and that's an intravenous uh, weekly enzyme infusion. Uh, the trials showed uh, improvement in walking and endurance and decrease in pain. It's now going to be followed just like naclizine was followed for MPS6 to see if there's an overall um, uh, effect on morbidity and mortality over the long term. And those data should be coming forth in the next few years.